As the start time approaches, the racers and their crews have gathered up here in a nearby parking lot to make final adjustments and preparations before they take off on their race across America. Just wrapping up the air bars, getting it set up for them. I think final prep. So what sort of things are you looking forward to? Getting Matt to the finish yeah, first. Sure. The racers and crew members said they were excited to get started. It's a challenge, personal, mental, and physical. I'm looking forward to taking on that challenge. Uh, I got some, some great guys with me. I got Mark, uh, and our crew is, is outstanding. Um, so I'm sure we'll all come together and cross the finish line. I feel good. I feel good. Yeah, you know, training's been good, and so... You know, now I just have to get on the road and actually, um, you know, actually uh, pedal, pedal for a while. <laughs> it's warm out there. We went to recon a couple of days ago, so I sort of have a good idea what the roads are like. So it's going to be, a, it's going to be a good day. I feel a lot better now that I'm on my bike this morning. <laughs> I was pretty nervous this morning. I feel pretty lucky to be here. Um, not everybody has this opportunity to do something like this and uh, raise funds for their their favorite charity and also have a love for things like cycling and um, I just feel honored that I can do what I can do at my age. I am very excited and very apprehensive and uh, I'm on an over caffeinated high right now I think. It's an incredible event. I never really had any perspective of what RAM was until last yesterday the crew meeting and the rider meeting. I'm just overwhelmed and blown away with what this is. This is a beyond description. I feel pretty relaxed right now. The big thing that I didn't expect was uh, I got here on Sunday and there's been a lot of, I feel a lot of waiting around but you know certainly busy and so I'm really excited to get this thing started. Different types of people like I said from all over the world all unified by the ambition to endure to see how far they can go. The race is just about 10 minutes from starting. The riders have started lining up and they'll be tracked on their time based on when they get started. They head off in one minute intervals. Finally, the racers started heading out either solo or in teams. Those cheering on the teams only quieted down for the Star Spangled Banner. The racers do expect challenges. Well, definitely it's going to be the heat to start out with. I mean, it's looking very hot down in the desert, so I think everyone's going to have a challenge. Myself and everyone, whoever can handle the heat the best, gets through there, you know, gets through there the fastest. So that's. But for me, I, I, I feel good about. I feel good about it. We'll see how. Um, we see how we handle it after a couple of days. But so far, I, you know, I'm looking, you know, looking uh, forward to hitting the desert and seeing what I can do. The challenge that I that I'm facing is the sleep deprivation. I've never done a sleep deprivation type of endurance, so this that's that's the challenge. With the race now started, the real work begins. With the support of their crews, the competitors will be racing practically non-stop to reach their final destination. For Race Across America, I'm Zach Badorf.